Looking to open a credit card but not really sure how it all works? No problem. In this quick video, we'll cover the basics of opening and managing a credit card and what to look for when starting a line of credit. First, let's look at the benefits and caveats of credit cards. First, you're able to build a credit score. When starting a credit card, this helps you build credit history which will boost your credit score. It is important to note that you must keep your balance low and be consistent in your monthly payments to maintain good scores. Having a high credit score comes with many great benefits such as lower interest rates for loans like auto and mortgages. A high credit score also opens the door for better, more sought after credit cards that have more desired benefits. However, you should only open a credit card if you are certain you can use it responsibly and pay it off in full every month. As stated earlier, it is extremely important that you keep up with your credit balance. Carrying a balance every month can negatively affect your credit rating and chance for future approval. Now that you know the gist of the benefits of opening a credit card, let's look at things to look for when choosing a credit card. First, look for any associated fees. When choosing a credit card, it is important to understand that many banks will charge you a set of fees. This allows the bank to make money, especially if you never carry an interest-bearing balance. Some of the common fees are an annual fee, which is a yearly fee that a credit company charges to keep the credit card open and active. There are also foreign transaction fees, which are fees on transactions that are in any currency other than US dollars. Lastly, there are late fees, which you will be charged if you carry a balance on your card and do not make the monthly payment on time. It is highly recommended to choose a card with few and low fees to save money and get the most benefits. Second, look for the card's annual percentage rate, or APR. It is one of the most important aspects of a credit card. The APR is the interest rate that you will be charged on the money that you borrow. You want to try to find a card with the lowest APR. However, you can avoid paying the APR if you just pay off your card balance every month. Lastly, look for the issuing bank of the card. When you are shopping for a credit card, be sure to open one with a notable institution. There are many small credit companies out there that often charge their cardholders unnecessary fees. Your credit is vital for your financial well-being, so choosing a trusted company is very important. Excellent. Now you're the proud owner of your own credit card and are ready to use it. However, before purchasing anything, always remember the following tips. First, spend no more than 30% of the total credit limit you are provided with. When you go over the 30% limit, there is a big chance that your credit score could decline rapidly and will continue to drop if the debt you accumulated is not paid off. This will cause you to have a poor credit score. Generating a low credit score could affect your future big purchases such as getting a car or buying a home because you will have an indicator that you are not so good at handling your money. Second, pay your balance in full and on time each month. Your credit card will have a suggestion of a minimum payment for you to make each month, but we recommend you to increase your payment by a few more dollars. Why? You'll be able to lower your balance on your credit faster and avoid paying more interest. Setting simple reminders on your calendar, agenda, or even on your phone will help you in not forgetting to make your payment on time. Or set up an automatic payment for your card if your bank allows it. Your credit score will be negatively affected if you do not pay your credit card balance on time. Thirdly, regularly check monthly statements for accuracy. It is crucial for you to check your credit card statements to identify any unauthorized charges or billing mistakes. Avoid being a victim of identity theft and to keep track of all your expenses made in the previous months. You will be able to resolve any fraudulent problems without consequences if you catch them as soon as possible. Fourthly, use your credit card on everyday purchases that you can afford. Avoid making enormous purchases with your credit card. Remember, if you can't buy something twice, then you can't afford it. Focus on purchasing smaller items that won't cost you a fortune, such as groceries, fast food, bills, gas, etc. Fifth, be sure to open accounts that you'll use for a long time. Maintaining and keeping an open credit card account for years can help you establish an incredible credit history and worthiness for lenders. Do not open multiple credit card accounts and cancel them after using them for a short period of time as it will negatively affect your credit score. Lastly, check your credit score for free. Apps like Credit Karma, Experian, Equifax, or even your mobile banking app will show you your credit score for free without having to worry about paying a ridiculous fee. We hope this video was helpful in what to look for in a credit card and how to use it responsibly to boost your credit score. 
If you still need some help in your credit journey, tune in next week, where we'll show you the top five best credit cards for beginners. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.